Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Okay, so I'm here to quickly um, make a review on um, this product I just started using. So I was making research and, you know, trying to find out what I can use to get rid of my breakout. So I saw one girl, she had a really bad breakout, but she started using the CeraVe. Is that how you pronounce it? CeraVe. CeraVe. I think it's CeraVe is called. So this is say acne foaming cream cleanser okay so this thing doesn't foam up and i got all of it i got this this is the am facial moisturizing lotion CeraVe with sunscreen i don't honestly like stuff with sunscreen but this is actually not that bad most times stuff with sunscreen actually broke me out or breaks me out but this one then i got the pm2 this one the pm facial moisturizer i actually like the pm1 probably because when you put this one on your face your face will turn white you know like you're putting like a sunscreen you know that white and then um, and after if you kind of start touching it then you you see some white thing coming out so i don't you know i'm not a fan of the am but just because you get used all of this so that's why i'm making a video about everything she used and then she also used the surfacing retinol serum with three essential whatever so this is how that one looks like too so you know all of these i ordered on uh, um, amazon okay so and then another thing she used she used that like the original not the original like the real i'm sweating okay <laughs> i've been gone for a while i've been like doing stuff in the kitchen so i'm sweating right now but she also used the um aloe vera okay she got the aloe vera um got the real aloe vera you know took the the gel inside it out and then she actually used it that way on her face okay you know it's so like drawy and it's really sticky just really draw i would say more draw than sticky you know it's like i don't know if you know how you get the aloe vera it's just like you know so that's how she was putting it on her face but when I got my aloe vera, I think I asked her if she blended, but I didn't get a reply fast. And I just kind of went and blend everything. So my aloe vera is not that sticky and I blend the whole thing and everything. So it's like, look at how my aloe vera is. I don't know. It's just like water, you know, it's more like water. Now when I blended this, um, it's been like last week, I put it in the fridge. So I go to the fridge and just put it here. You know then put it in the cotton board and then use it so after i wash my face i really like this thing when i wash my face with this yeah one minute honey when i wash my face with this acne foaming cream cleanser it came out really looking really glowy i wish i can show you guys i don't know if i can show you guys when i come out from the bathroom washing my face it doesn't look oily like you, you, your face if you touch your face it's still dry but if somebody's looking at you it looks like really glowy that you have a nice um lotion or face cream on your face but it's just like that glow you see here you know it's crazy and then after that i just clean my face before i was using the um i can't i was using the other one but then i think that one was breaking me up then i started using the this one i mixed this one put it also in the cotton board with the aloe vera but i stopped using this one and i just use the aloe vera alone to just clean my face and then after that i will just put like two drop on my hand of the surfacing retinol serum on my face and then depending whether it's pm or am you know then i just put any of this so that's how i've been doing it and honestly i've been seeing it's not really curing me this is something you have to use you know longer but you know you guys know when i was making a video i have all these big big pimple i haven't been having any big big pimple on my face next time the only thing i'm gonna change next time i bought her the aloe vera i'm probably gonna use it the way she used it i won't blend it because once you blend it it becomes more sticky when i blend it it was sticky but now uh, when i pour it here and start using it the more i use it it's more like liquid i just think it might be all the same but you know i think i want to use the way she was like it was really like slippery she, and she just put it on her face like that so that's the only thing i'm gonna use change but i don't still think it makes any different but but yeah so this is it um out of all of this so i love this soap okay this soap is probably something because she actually used this so she, she actually bought like six i don't know where she went to she said she couldn't find the soap and you can't find this soap i went to walmart i went to Ulta. they have i think i bought one in uh right aid either right aid or Ulta. but some of this thing like this one i got in amazon but this is the soap is the one you can't see any stuff no place has this 
so but yeah so um so this is my favorite soap so i think this is probably something i would just continue using and out of everything i bought i think this is the one that say acne foaming cream clay like this one is you know more for acne so sometimes i'll be like maybe this is i, I just feel like this is probably the only thing getting rid of my acne just the soap you know the cream is i don't know if i finish using these creams if it's something i'm gonna use again or maybe i will just because maybe all the combination is working for me but sometimes i just feel it's the soap that is working for me um i still see acne pump out once in a while you know i have like all those tiny tiny acne i don't know if you guys can see it but it is like tiny tiny and then i popped them out last night after i showered before i i use my aloe vera to clean my face and um yeah so they kind of you know but yeah last month you guys know last month last two months i made a video was i'm like what in the wrong like i got like all this big pimple here here like those ones that really hot no i haven't been having those ones again and i just started using this not even up to a month you know so i can actually see really big difference i don't have any big pimple like bothering me or hurting my face i have a little bit tiny tiny ones that came that came out but which i actually pop but that is another thing with this one this is supposed to like if you have any black you know when you pop your pimple you have all those black things this is i think this is what they're supposed to do it's supposed to help uh i don't know if, if contacts with um apply a sunscreen while using this product but i think on her video or maybe on the box i throw on the box i think it says something like that so it, it helps clear all your dark spots um yeah so so this is i actually like this is this too is my favorite actually and then i also like the pm cream and i just preach this is a cream i use morning and night the, the, the pm cream this one i don't like it just because i'm not used to it. you guys remember there was a video i made i put um, sunscreen it never worked for me you know people always tell me oh use sunscreen and when i was using lightning cream you guys tell me use sunscreen. i don't like sunscreen because the white sticky thing it never worked for me i can manage with my body but then i later got the neutrogena spray sunscreen yeah that one that's kind of oily if you spray that one i love it but anything with white it just doesn't work for my face and i've used a lot of sunscreen for my face even the expensive one they break me about this hasn't been breaking me out, but sometimes I think it's just because I'm using the soap too, you know, so it's making it not to break me out, but it's still okay. Actually, that's what I put today on my face and put makeup, you know, and it blends. It blends. Actually, I like all of them, <laughs> you know, they, that's the main thing. My, my, my breakout is gone. And then um, when I got this thing, I was using, hold on, let me see if I can find it. I was using, what is that thing called? Oh yeah, so the lady I watched was using the witch hazel, yeah. And the witch hazel never worked for me, but just because she uses it in, in, in combination with all this, I'm like, okay, let me try it. But I think I was breaking out at the beginning, then I stopped it. I'm like, you know, this thing never worked for me, so I stopped it. Somebody mentioned, somebody said, if I think she commented on her video, she said, if witch hazel doesn't work for you, you can also use the mycelia water, okay? Even when she said that, I almost ordered this on Amazon. I didn't know I have it. <laughs> I got this at, at Ross. So I'm like, what? Okay, I went to Amazon. I almost bought this. But I'm like, you know, I'm just going to use the aloe vera a lot. So, so when this one broke me, I, when I, I think that this one is not really working for me with this. Because a lot of people don't use witch hazel. It doesn't work for me. Then I started using this one. And then when I use it, but this one foams up. Even though they say don't wash it, but it feels like it's like so. So when you you know put it it's like so but still i'm like i wasn't feeling it it, it was it's not like it was breaking me but i wasn't feeling it so i i'm like you know what aloe vera is really good everybody knows about aloe vera very very pretty so i'm like i'm gonna just gonna, you know stick to aloe vera it's not like i'm trying to clean my makeup you know it's different like when i want to clean my makeup then i'll go for this then i'll use it to clean my makeup because this is actually what it's meant for is to clean your makeup and i also have this thing from nowhere snow wigs that really clean makeup okay mm. the only thing i haven't washed it i have the soap you know that is that is supposed to i'm gonna make a video of this separately but yeah so this thing even if you have like a really mascara you know just put water and just put it there it takes your mascara out but anyway i love you guys and i think if you have if you're suffering from acne i think this is this is really good you know this is really good it's not it's not too dry this thing is like he said it's moisturizing but it's like i think it's like oily oil free or something like that so it wouldn't dry up your skin but it won't like put a lot of oil on your skin so maybe you just try i think any anybody can try whether you have oily skin or whatever skin you can try it you guys loving my dress i just love my dress i got at fashion nova